Good morning, everyone. Hello. Good morning. This is Engineer Hussam, lecturer uh, for engineering drawing course. And it's an honor to present for you an in introduction to assembly drawing. Uh, the learning outcome. By the end of this presentation, students will be able to recognize the needs for diverse type of drawings at different level of assembly and explain the assembly drawing, example for assembly drawing. Okay, before we start lecturing, let's play a game. So uh, join me please, if you don't mind, uh, scan the QR code. It will take you to a website, wooklab.com. Uh, and let me see how many participants uh, we have today. Okay, okay. So I want you to uh, go to the QR, scan it, and please let me know when you are ready. So what is an assembly drawing? Okay. Uh, as you all mentioned in your uh, quiz or in your game that assembly drawing that more than one part like two parts or more assembly drawing parts that they have relation between each other uh, so all this correct assembly drawing is a drawing of entire machine or system with all the components are uh, located and identified which we should need we should understand the location of each part and what's the relation between each part and what are the parts so the purpose of assembly drawing is as we said to show the relationship between the parts and to see the parts in their finished final shape okay so good example for assembly drawing is the this 3d model of sterling engine this assembly, 3D model assembly, if you want to have a look for assembly drawing as engineering drawing, we have to look to this design assembly drawing. For this design assembly drawing, we can see that uh, the main elements to make this assembly drawing excellent assembly, assembly drawing, successful assembly drawing, we should have first the views. We should have either orthographic projection like top of view, front of view, or the isometric view with regard to dimension not all the time we need dimension on the assembly drawing based on the drawing based on the uh, standard based on the function of the part for this one I just added the overall dimensions in order to show uh, the customer or the client that if you want to have this part or manufacture this part the total width depth and height will be like this so if they want to put it in the disk or in the office so they know where it can fit so number one the views number two part numbers or called balloons as an example each of these circles with line and arrow is point to a part point to a piece okay let's say this one number one it's point to this one where what is this uh, part then it will take me to other element of engineering drawing, which is the part list or bill of material. So I go here, part number one, it's base plate and aluminum, the quantity is one. So now I can understand that each part here is reflected on the bill of material. And of course, bill of material is customizable. You can change the column and you can add to it or remove from it. Okay. So, uh, the last element of engineering drawing is the title block, which is in this corner here, in this area. The title block contains information about the drawing itself. What's the drawing name? What's the company name? What's the drawing number? What's the revision uh, scale sheet one of one? Or uh, uh, who created the drawing? Which standard we are using? Third angle or first angle of projection? Now let's move to this small games again to the Wook Lab. Scan the Q, uh, QR code again, or if you already have it, just let me know. The first question: Click on the image itself. Click on the Wook Lab. Select which one of these two is assembly or component. 
okay so click on the image this is for the first question for the second question I want to, to label what are these circles with lines and also label what's this here table okay what's just type your answer please okay various types of assembly at different level various type of drawing at different level of assembly the assembly structure consists of uh, level zero which is the assembly drawing and then we have level one and level two and more we, we might have end up having 10 or even more levels okay it start with assembly and then you might have two sub assemblies or three or more you might have one part that does not belong to assembly as an example you have uh, engine or design or any any kind of component and you have handle this handle you just manufacture the handle and you put it on the top of assembly so you can carry it carry the assembly so this handle is a part then you have catalog drawing which is for standard item okay so let's go into details and explain more about sub assembly drawing this is sub assembly drawing we have uh, one sub assembly and it's depicted here in icon autodesk inventor icon so this sub assembly has two drawings sub another sub assembly and another part if you look to the bill of material here to the right side you will have that you have motor assembly and stop block this is motor assembly and the stop block in the green here it has three parts consists of three parts and the three parts are shaft bearing and uh, case if this is wasn't clear let's look at this example here here we have main assembly here we have sub assembly consists of this uh, sub assembly these components here they are divided into two sub assemblies these two as sub assembly and this as a sub assembly now we have each one of these parts part 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 and these two parts are for uh, catalog drawing for standard item of course after the end of your drawing designing and finishing the component you only you not only need to show engineering drawing for the assembly drawing you need to draw or prepare engineering workshop detailed drawing for every single part of your assembly we might include a standard item like bolt spring but just mention that this is a standard item and give the catalog name or the code the, uh, how you can buy it okay or you don't need to show them in a separate drawing but just you have to include them in the bill of material and part list when you're preparing the assembly assembly drawing may include exploded view exploded view the best thing about exploded view it show you not only the relationship between the parts but it show you how the parts the order of the assembly i will give you a clear example see here you can see first remove the port remove the bracket remove the pushes then uh, the roller and the uh, shaft so if you if you uh, now you can understand how they are uh, assembled together now we have installation assembly in this case you don't need dimensions you don't need even sometimes you don't need part list you just put images that it give you instructions and you know you can see number one put number two add to it another block add another block until you finish with the components so this will help even kids even non-educated people to understand how to install the part and usually this type of assembly drawing uh, used with um, ma uh, manufacture already parts so you don't need to manufacture or buy you have the Lego box you open it and you want to start assembling it also applicable for furniture as an example then you might have full section view full section view is very useful when you want uh, to see something like injection mode injection mode from outside you cannot uh, clearly see how many cavities we have what how many ejectors the cooling channel anything about the mold you cannot tell but if you have correct section view with section lines with all the necessary details you will be able to understand uh, the component of the mold clearly 
you might have different type of section view like removed section view or revolved section Then we have assembly creation method. We have two types of uh, methods. We have top down versus bottom up. With regard to top down, you should think about uh, the entire assembly function and uh, uh, complete assembly function. Draw it as one part. Let's say hair dryer. You draw the hair dryer com as a complete uh, drawing. In this case, I draw the helmet, but I will talk about the hair dryer as an example. You complete the finish, the 3D model for the entire as a one piece, and then you start to break it down into small sub assemblies or parts uh, based on the need. As an example, the hair dryer, I might need the button. The I split it, I put it alone. I might need place for uh, electric plug or anything. In this case, I have this one as a part and this one as assembly, see part, assembly, and so on. With regard to bottom-up assembly, you start with at a part level, and then you start to adjust the size, adjust the hole, adjust the, the diameter, and then start to put parts on the top of each other. As an example, I want to insert this shaft in this hole, then I want to fix both of them on, on the base plate, and then I want to move them onto another plate, that's it. Uh, let's play another game about assembly and I want you to tell me what type of assembly drawing you think this uh, example represents. Thank you for your uh, time and thank you for allowing me to present uh, this presentation and I hope you like it and uh, I hope you enjoy the presentation. Okay, see you later. Bye.